You'd think that a YouTuber caught in predatory behavior and betraying their community would leave the platform for their own good. However, even after losing 1 million subscribers... Of course they wouldn't leave the platform for good. That's their whole livelihood. ...of his credibility, Minilad refuses to let go of his decaying platform. But why? Minilad, who was having inappropriate conversations with underage fans... Minilad had taken things much farther with Ash than Hallie. ...canceled a few months ago for soliciting inappropriate photos from minors. And I was manipulated and completely used by many lad. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I it's quiet. YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be going over the it is not quiet. of Mini Lad. We'll take a look at how Mini Lad's manipulative tendencies cost him everything, his many attempts to recover his YouTube empire he once abused, and why the entire YouTube community <laughs> will never let him return. Looking back on the earlier portions of Mini's career, he seemed almost unstoppable as he effortlessly rose the ranks on YouTube. From pumping out basic Call of Duty trolling videos that barely got a few hundred views in 2000. Friends over there. So, uh, to keep in touch, I had them on Xbox. This was prime YouTube. This was prime YouTube, honestly, not gonna lie. When people would just post like trolling montages. Oh my god. Daily. It is, uh, like it is Machinima. Nice. Mini meticulously carved out a viewer base of over 5 million subscribers that deeply admired him, as well as gaining collaborations with some of the most popular creators on the platform. What the hell? I didn't even know that. I'm here with Midland. Oh my God! What the okay, fuck? Today <laughs> I didn't sign up for that. Shut up. Today we're gonna play. So how did it all go wrong? How did Mini Lad manage to destroy one of the most promising? Yeah, same on YouTube? time. Well, Mini's downfall could be attributed to the two worst controversies of his career: his falling out with the Vanos Gaming crew and the allegations of disgusting behavior involving minors. While these events were quite damaging on their own, it was Mini's attempts to manipulate the narrative and outright. Yeah, Vanos, Gmod, Prop Hunt, and Hide and Seek videos is like all I watch. Career. For a while, the Vanos crew's unique approach to crafting entertaining video game content and frequent collaborations made them one of the most popular games yeah, what's up, on Vic? YouTube. To put it into perspective, the average sub count of their members was above 4 million. As with many creator groups, a continuous positive relationship among members helped maximize views for everyone while simultaneously mitigating career ending drama. Unfortunately, many didn't quite see things that way and instead opted to throw them under the bus once he no longer needed the group. The first sign of bad blood between Minnie and the Vanos crew became apparent when Minnie aggressively responded Wait, to I actually didn't know this. asking him why he wasn't playing with his old friend group. I need to make sure I get these tight corners. I'm about been to a lap huge someone. Fan of your work. Keep it up. The only thing I want to ask is how come you don't play with Vinos oh, Gaming? Wow. Because I don't play Gmod anymore. That's all he does. Question done. <laughs> I also I'm also breaking off into a solo YouTuber because it's a lot more fun. I mean true. That is all they did back then. Made things worse. Damn. For all this time, they're still playing Gmod. Do I kill him? I mean, they kicked me out of all their chats, so I have no idea what the hell they're doing. So perfectly well, it's that damn. damn. Be, yo. I wasn't kicked. Oh my god! All right. So, just to clear up any drama, um, I'm going off and doing my own thing. And then all this. All right. Just to clear up some shit, uh, I wasn't kicked. Uh, they all they did was play Fortnite and Gmod, and then do other YouTubers. So I said fuck that. Uh, I broke away from that group. I'm doing my own thing. Sounds I've pretty based to me. Better. I'm my community stronger than ever. I'm pulling more views than ever, and I'm personally a lot more happy as a human. So that's what happened. Yeah, Anyways, that didn't age well. If only Minnie knew how much impact those words would have on his career. What came next was a feud that only further alienated Minnie from the Vanos crew and left behind an air of distrust around his reputation. Once viewers found out Minnie wasn't telling the whole story. Why not invite Minnie? I'll tell you why. He doesn't play with us. He left, and then he decided on stream to badmouth m myself and my friends. Well, mainly just my friends. And I didn't appreciate that. So Not based. I don't play with the guy lately. To clarify things, Mini posted a statement on Twitter, confirming his bonds with the team, but also pointing out Terrorizer as the one who damaged their relationship by mocking his mental health. Quoting, It's based. up in the head to take a joke anymore. Unquote. Mini was trying to use his Holy. Of justification for his comments earlier on stream and as a means of slandering Terrorizer's reputation, something that Terrorizer was very keen to pick up on. Posting a quote tweet reading, And I wish you all the best too, Craig. But that quote is pure slander. Accusing me of making fun of mental health is just wrong. 
wrong, Craig. There's more information you've omitted from this whole thing in order to paint a certain picture in the public's eye. Kinda low. With the two having a back and forth in the comments of the tweet. Even when the stakes weren't that high, Minnie was more than ready to throw a friend under the bus if it meant he could save face. It seemed like forcefully- I can understand if you're a YouTuber. Nature to Minnie, as you would later oh, yeah. I can understand if you're a YouTuber and you're, like, playing with somebody the whole time, and then when you, like, if you do your own thing and you do your own video and that makes you happy too, and then people just go in the comments of that video that you really liked, it took you a lot of time to make, and then the comments are just like, what the fuck, this is a solo video? Get back to the other shit. Like, I understand how that could be annoying. But it's just weird to be like, oh, man, all these guys do is play one single game <laughs> and just talk shit about them. It's kind of weird. About, quote, patching up with Brian. I got to finally meet up with Brian. We're figuring things out. You know, we, we talked backstage at Evan's show and we, we shook hands and we're, we're going to work on it. So, like, you know, I miss the dude. And it's good to see things coming together. I know he made a video saying we're patching things up, which is not true. I feel like he says things in order to kind of get flack off of his back. Hence why he threw me under a bus in order to get himself out of a situation that was happening with a trending video. This this entire situation made two things very apparent about Minnie. One, Minnie was willing to use his mental health as a weapon or excuse to shift the narrative in his favor. And two, Minnie had shown a propensity to bend the truth <laughs> or straight up lie if it meant he could save himself from backlash. These edits, bro. This self serving trend would only be intensified as misconduct from his past came back to haunt him. By the 23rd of June 2020, following his breakup with his most recent ex girlfriend, Minnie's credibility Jesus. came under fire as two of his former fans and friends Halle and Ash released twit longers that pulled the curtain back on his positive facade. In Ash's twit longer she narrated her experience with Minnie when she was 16 going from being a part of his fan base 17. to the object of his twisted affection or rather manipulation. Quoting things took a sharp turn. Alright you see this? Chatting on Snapchat. That's when you know it's bad. Nothing good ever happens on Snapchat. Chatting on Snapchat one day, and the subject of he came up. He asked if I was a virgin, and I said yes. <laughs> then he asked if he could take my. Jesus Christ. Me. Things escalated from there, unquote. Asher went on to recount their exchange of explicit material and his request to meet up when she arrived in California for a family trip. At the end of her post, Asher... Yeah, Snapchat is literally just horny the people. ...between them to get what he wanted and continued to do so to keep her quiet, a sick tactic that he used on Halle as well. Halle's twit longer outlined how her relationship with Minnie slowly transitioned from friendly support to sharing inappropriate images of himself in response to an offhanded joke. Quote, Remember, I was a minor. I was 16. He knew that I liked him. Sent me those photos to someone he knew liked him for a boost of ego. The worst part is, I was not the only person he had done this to. Unquote. The rest of Halei's statement reveals how Minnie weaved a web of lies and manipulation to protect his career. That's why I can't have it. <laughs> covering for him, lying about yeah. not knowing Ash's age, and refusing to divulge this to his new partner Sammy were just a few of the methods Minnie used to keep his reputation intact. These bold claims didn't come unsubstantiated, as the girls provided ample screenshots and videos. That Jesus, caught in 4K. I'm gonna press the refresh button. There you go. I'm also going to press this. It's going to go straight to his official Twitter. Unfortunately for many, it was his reckless need to keep those wrongdoings a secret. What a weirdo. A change that eventually would cause them to go public. Left with no other option, Minnie caved and admitted to his disgusting behavior. But sadly, the way he went about it would only further damage what little respect he had left. By now, you should be noticing a pattern with Minnie. He prioritizes his career and personal needs over other people. You can see this when Minnie chooses to disrespect and misrepresent it was a fire. Crew to maintain his reputation. Even in his intimate relationships, Minnie had no problem trying to manipulate and potentially harm people, as long as it meant he could fulfill his sick desires. If Minnie was ready to deceive and lie to the faces of his inner circle, it's reasonable to assume he'll do it to his viewers as well. That's crazy. To how many lads responses and holy okay. Drama caused okay, holy shit, I just saw it. Th I'm not gonna lie. This is based right here. Holy shit. Big Daddy from Bioshock Funko Pop. Don't those don't those things aren't those things worth like 60, 70 bucks or something like that? The Big Daddy? Damn.
I have a little collection of these. <laughs> following the drama caused more Damn. The drama itself. In his Twitter apology, Minnie only briefly spoke on the allegations and spent the rest of the post diverting attention to his sudden mental health journey while stating that he will quote, be back when the time I have arrives. like 230 of those. Evidently, that time would only be a month long as Minnie resumed uploads in August of 2020. On the 12th of August 2020, Minnie published the video titled Minecraft But All The Mobs Are Me which served both as his reintroduction what? after the drama. 550,000 views, 17 minute video. All right, let's do some pocket watching. 550,000 views, 17 minute video. I'm going to do some math on my other monitor here. So his RPM is probably six, six dollars on that video. Three thousand three hundred dollars. He probably made off that video. That's crazy. Uh, and as a means of emotionally manipulating the viewers about his mental health. I know I just left all of a sudden, but I just, I, I, I needed to do something about me. And I never took time to work on me. And it's been, it's been lovely to be able to talk and just let everything out and just breathe. It was one thing to pine for What's RPM? taking advantage of. Uh, RPM is uh, basically how much money you get per a thousand views. So on YouTube, typically... For a video around this length, if you um, put a bunch of like, or not even a bunch, if you put like ads on it, um, you're probably getting about $6 per 1,000 views. That's just crazy. Like the whole reason I was saying that though is to demonstrate that's crazy how, how many lad did what he did, like literally being a predator. And then he comes back and he makes a YouTube video and it makes like 3,000. Like that's just crazy how you can get like that kind of support doing this like crazy shit of minors but it's a completely different story to avoid those transgressions when you admitted only a month prior fortunately Halle wasn't going to let him get away with that as What's she up, Brain Ball? reminded everyone about minnie's misconduct but also included screenshots of what minnie's true intentions really were i have receipts and i'm gonna show them again like maybe right here where he was talking to his moderators about how in mod chat people are gonna see that this doesn't matter and it's gonna die she basically was told by craig to go to ash um one of the other girls who came out who dealt with way worse to tell her about her his <laughs> attempt to make her feel some sort of pity misdirecting ah uh, that's true time yeah it might have been people surprised that Minnie was trying to and looking at his new video more. being dishonest with the community that gave you your platform isn't going to stop the max exodus of subscribers holy shit. on your videos too bad that's exactly what Minnie would keep on doing from the 4th of september to the 28th of december 2020 mini released two apology videos that were less about reconciling about the situation and more about obscuring it in his upload time Titled Cleaning the Air, Minnie claimed he'd addressed everything, but that was far from the truth, as the video was just five minutes of him glossing over hard accusations or debunking random Twitter posts. Naturally, it's backfired with over yeah, on my brain ball. Have you played it? dislikes and a very angry comment section, the negativity would bleed into every single upload that followed, eventually causing his channel to lose monetization status and the singular sponsored video he had to be taken down. No way! Minnie didn't seem to learn from this blunder and decided to dig himself into a deeper hole with his video titled my apology while there was much in a way of taking responsibility for his past behavior there was also an equal or exceeding amount of self-victimization and okay so six months ago Damn. He lost monetization. Wow. Dude, you see this though? He was still getting like decent. Oh, I guess not. This video was getting decent views, but it's probably the title and it's his last video. Wow. That's crazy. He might still do live. No, five months ago. Announcement day. I made a dumb collection. I need to show. God, people are watching this? What do the comments say? Bro, I want this dog. How do I acquire this kind of over exaggeration? I privatized. So, the end. College it again. I Listen. Never so, I just thought. 
Damn, none of the comments are saying anything. Mr. Beast trap video. What the fuck? Manipulation. And I understand what I'm going to say next is quite taboo online, but if this is my way of putting all my cards on the table and telling you guys what happened, I feel like I need to say it. The reason I did what I did, and there is even a message where I said this, is because what I said there is true. I did try to end my life at the beginning of 2017. Um, I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm not looking for anything. We don't happen. care. This is we don't care. Reason. And I just want you to understand the headspace that I was in. The reality is I was being selfish. I wasn't thinking about repercussions. I wasn't thinking about anything. I was just being stupid. And I, I really want to apologize for that. I just wasn't thinking. And I regret it. I have regretted it since. And for that, for both Hallie and Ash, I'm really sorry. This was arguably Minnie's last chance to fix the controversy that took over his entire YouTube empire. And he completely fumbled it. True. From dropping out screenshots to focusing on how this would affect his job, Minnie was still trying to salvage things by admitting the most egregious of his sins. A decision that cost him everything and more. So now that the YouTube community had all witnessed Minnie's tricks and lies, what would become of their dynamic? Was Minnie going to realize that his YouTube career career was officially over and leave the platform, Fuck no. would he disappear and intermittently crawl back in hopes of people forgetting it ever happened? Well, let's say Minnie took the less honorable path. In the two years that followed the drama, Minnie was reduced to a laughingstock among his former friends and a deceitful predator in the eyes of his former fans. His name was Pablo. Pablo was not a very good man. <laughs> he liked to have with small children. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> In an attempt to change that, Minnie decided to rebrand himself as a positive and fun-loving creator. After nearly a year of silence, Minnie uploaded one of his meme streams titled It's Good to See You, which saw Minnie trying to put on a happy facade. And I'll be honest with you, I know this might sound kind of crazy, I'm now the happiest I think I've ever been in my life. And I know that might sound really hard to believe for a lot of people. How old is this dude? Going on, but for the first time, it looks like he's like 28. Life, I figured out who I am. Looking back, I realized, Jesus Christ, like there was no time between recording, being on phone calls with Ty, trying to get my edits done and everything that I just had time to work on me and be me. However, it was obvious that he was still operating from a selfish mindset and that he put the health of his career above everything else. Here's the thing. As you guys may have noticed, I've been gone for a while. My his room is more of an L, L now. Twist. Last December, as you guys know, I put up my apology. I went silent. I went dark on everything. I didn't have Twitter. I didn't have Instagram. I was really I close. Everything on my phone. I just wanted to focus on me. Because for me, oh, he's 29. I'm aware that everything in my life that's happened up to this moment is my fault. So I knew that if I was gonna work on me and if I wanted to come back to this, I wanted to come back to entertaining, I wanted to come back to everything, I knew I needed to work on me, right? I lost friends over this, I lost fans over this. Last September, no way. I moved to Texas. I went back to Northern Ireland for a few weeks. No back, way. I moved to Dallas. I had a bunch of friends out here that were like, we realize you're going through, this stuff, going through some stuff, let me help you. But there's See a bunch of people here who are just like, willing to let me talk and help me get through my stuff and you know i've still i've maintained therapy every week then there was the matter of him understanding the impact of the controversy in his two videos titled why i left twitter and why getting cancelled was the best thing that ever happened oh my to god he hadn't changed and was simply these people the bro of change the charade didn't end there cancelled he created an entirely new channel guys good news everyone to further push <laughs> his toxic positivity good news, being everyone. a child predator is being cancelled for once, a YouTuber went to an unclaimed baggage store and bought replacements for items that passengers lost. I wanted to touch on this for a few reasons. A, it's good to see YouTubers doing stuff. It's always a pleasure, no matter if you're doing charity stuff or stuff like this. Unfortunately, none of this change was ever going to change what Minnie did or reverse the harm that he inflicted. And what was left of his audience was always going to remind him of that fact. No, oh wait, never mind. It was on my TV. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks for the three. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks for the three. Hang on them. I don't know what you're saying. I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh, by the way, to the person who just donated to me. Uh, please get your facts straight. Thank you. I'll be back.
Maybe this was the straw that broke the camel's back, because from this point on to his last known upload, Minnie somewhat dropped his positive disposition and acknowledged the true state of his career. You haven't changed at all? Oh look, someone new! Have never Monthly gained subscribers. Oh? So I'm guessing the controversy was like right here then? I call it controversy. I mean, yeah, I guess it is. Dude. It like didn't do anything to him. Monthly gained video views. That's crazy. The true state of his career. You haven't changed at all? Oh, look, someone new who I've never seen before. And to be honest with you, Chipmunk, whether you do, whether you don't, it doesn't matter. I'm not here to try and bring anything. I'm basically telling you right here, right now, I'm not a YouTuber anymore. I got our shit going on. You know, I, I do this shit for fun. You can, you can do what you want, say what you want. It used to bother me. I wonder, and I've always wondered this, but after seeing that, I really wonder. I wonder if you could, like, literally do anything, and as long as you keep, like, uploading, if if anything would even happen. Because you would think something like this, for sure, like, your whole, like, career would be done. Like, nobody would watch you anymore. It's, like, fucking insane. That wasn't anymore. They're like, oh, can you do, like, a, like a 630? And I'm like, ah, I'm streaming, sorry. Like, oh, okay, could you do like seven or eight? And I'm like, ah, I'm kind of streaming, I'm sorry. So it's getting to the point where now, like, the meetings that I have and the business opportunities are there. But I'm now, I'm doing this thing where I'm, I have to keep stream going. Um, because I enjoy it, but it, sh it should be a hobby at this point, right? I told you guys a month ago or whatever, or a few weeks ago, whatever it was, that, like, I had to emotionally br retire from YouTube. And we know that. This is not a career for me anymore. Minnie knows he doesn't have a place on YouTube anymore, but still returns to it time and time again. Why? The best answer we have is a comment tell I left under one of Cluster's videos covering Minnie. As someone who knew him, I can almost guarantee confidently that he wanted to keep reviving his channel for four reasons. One, money. Two, yeah. he felt special. He is a narcissist who- That's one, two, three, and four. Eyes, fame. Three, he genuinely thought people would start forgetting. And four, he has actively looked through his followers to see which which are hot and talks to them. Halei's points completely match with Minnie's past actions, and this seems likely to continue since he hasn't changed at all. On the 1st of March 2024, Minnie uploaded a story on Instagram to give viewers an insight into why he hasn't been active for months. Hello, it's been a month and a half. Where the f have I been? Let's have a conversation. First thing, just after my birthday, January 7th, I got sinusitis from a viral infection, which basically means the sinuses um, so it felt like there was a the balloon on the fuck. inside of my face that was just blowing up every day. Very fun. Wouldn't recommend it. That led to my right eye uh, having issues where it would go out of focus and shit like that. I had to get that checked out. Then after that, I got a viral ear infection and not one, but both of my ears. Uh, left ear was basically gone. Right ear was pretty bad too. That led to sound in general being painful. Like, I couldn't listen to anything, I couldn't watch anything, um, it, I, it's the, the f worst five, six weeks. Mini spends the rest of the video chatting about his recovery process and the new PC he just acquired. Also, I got a new computer. Oh, Jesus, she's f dirty. Anyway, um, I got this. It, it is a 4070. This. This suggests that Mini <laughs> God, pe people do, like, such cringe videos. Oh, God, there's something on my mirror. Anyway. Um, look at this crazy thing. His decimated empire by either retaining the few fans he has left with more posts on his main channel or by finding new ones by posting on other channels. However, the question isn't whether he'll Oh, he had life, another channel. It's whether the internet will let him get away with it. There's no doubt that Minnie is aware of the severity of his alleged crimes. But he <laughs> nice Photoshop. Because he got caught and will have the influence that he once abused taken away from him. After all, it took Minnie two apologies to fully acknowledge the storm of the controversy that he created, which signals to viewers that he never intended to right his wrongs. Instead, he opted to take the easy route and attempted to maintain the platform that he already lost. Ironically, it was that decision that truly sealed his fate. The YouTube community isn't letting Minnie off the hook because he said he was sorry. Lying, manipulating, and taking advantage of everyone around you never ends well, and Minnie learned that the hard way. YouTube
YouTube moderation may not have banned Minnie for his depraved actions, but the online community he preyed on Which is, is weird. going to make sure he never returns to the platform. If you enjoyed this video, click the I don't know, maybe it's not weird. To find out why Corpse abandoned his audience. Huh. Did the, is this real? Is this clickbait? Did he actually get docs? Did people know what he looks like? That is so interesting. That is so interesting. Like, I wonder if this guy just kept uploading. I've always wondered this. But, like, after seeing this, I really do wonder. Because nobody does this. Every time... Um, and I'm glad he did. Because I, I don't think this guy should fucking be online, obviously. I don't think she, he should have a platform. But I wonder if you could literally do anything after a controversy. If you just, like, keep uploading. If you would be fine. Like, that's just crazy. That is so crazy. Probably clickbait. Yeah, I feel like I would have heard about this if it wasn't clickbait. Okay.